Uh, good morning, my classy, classy people. Wayne Bolden from the Speed King channel, as always. Saturday morning, having coffee with your Speed King. My favorite part of the week, for sure. Hope everybody's going to have a great, great weekend. Make a few shackles. Most of all, have some fun. Again, big race week, of course. Uh, the PA Derby, uh, very nice race today. And ten other or nine other stake races at the parks. Uh, of course, our tip sheets are available uh, by emailing me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. And of course, uh, later that evening on Saturday, Churchill got a nice card as well. They start late. It is a twilight uh, card. It starts at 6. Four beautiful stake races. The return of Echo Zulu. Gun Knight is over there. Uh, Conagher. So again, more actions late. Our tip sheets are available there as well. So again, 15 bucks for uh, Churchill and 15 bucks for, uh, of course, the PA Derby. Email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Did I say turn on your closed captures? Of course, please do, as always. Well, here Saturday morning looking around and uh, getting ahead of the curve. We're going to look at Sunday's races for sure. Uh, Aquadot, uh, Belmont and Aquadot has a couple graded stake races or at least one over there and another unlisted stake race. Um, we're going to take a, a look at race number nine, which is the grade two gallant bloom stake. Six and a half panels on the dirt, y'all. It's for fillies and mares two years old and up. And it's a small field of five. So let's dive right into this and uh, see where we can go from here. Well, let's run through all five of them, right? It's Saturday morning. We ain't doing nothing but having a cup of coffee. So let's run through all five. The number one horse, uh, Ladies Rocket. Well, the old rocket horse, right? Well, the old rocket horse is trained by the untouchable barn of Brad Cox. A merry horse, a big head horse, Brad and all his big head horses. Lady Rocket, two to one on the morning line, draws the rail. Very speedy, very speedy. Okay, you know where I'm leaning already. Very speedy, speed is what? You got it, king. Some people have it and some people just don't. Well, this gal or mare has it. Seven wins from 15 starts. That's darn near 15%. Let me see you shake a stick. You can't. Three seconds and two thirds. That's right. So that's 12 starts in the money. 12 in the money from 15 starts and seven of them is wins. The horse is by one of my favorite horses at Monmouth Park many, many years ago for John Forbes' Tell of the Cat with Julie Crone in the arms. Wow, what, the, what days are those, right? And again, Brad Cox got the conditioning booked. He'll be in the trainer's booth. He'll be calling the plays, pushing the buttons. And he went and got the services of Irad Ortiz. Well, you know what's going to happen here, right? That boy is very aggressive down there and up there in New York. So again, Lady Rocket, uh, Lady Rocket, not Lady Rocket, Lady Rocket should get to the front here and may be able to control this race, right? Okay, two to one is a square price on here because we do have a four to five in the race, uh, the number five Kamari. So again, no, a Lady Rocket, I'm going to go ahead and make her my top pick. She comes out of the Bell Arena, grade one stakes on the 28th of August up at Saratoga. Got her head handed to her by Good Night, uh, good night uh, Ol Oliver and uh, Car Carmel Swirl, which I believe is a Billy Mott horse, but I know obligatory is a Billy Mott horse. But the horse is coming back uh, into this grade two event, you know, the Gallon uh, Bloom, and I think that you should be able to get to the top. Santana was up, Santana's off, Irad's up, Irad's home in New York. I think the number one's going to be extremely tough here, y'all. I really do. The number two horse, Remain Anonymous. Well, Remain Anonymous is a nice, this is an older mare, five years old. Kind of a bit of a bridesmaid, the number two at seven to two, Remain Anonymous. Five wins from 22 starts and nine seconds. Now, that's pretty good that she's always around the money. I like that. But she is a bit of a bridesmaid. I mean, 14 first or second from 22 starts. You're really hard to snap a stick at that. 17 in the money from 22 starts. So she's a hard hitter. She's by temperature. Uh, Falcone Jr. is doing the conditioning and the underrated Manny Franco's in the arms for sure. 
This horse has been claimed back to back to back and uh, obviously is a horse that everybody knows is a hard hitter. That's when you know horses are hard hitters, when they get horses get trained, uh, claimed back to back to back like that. Well, she's always in the money. She always guarantees a check, okay? She's going to have to step her game up here if you ask me, but she has every right to run big coming off of a two-game winning streak. Two back July 15th at Saratoga. It's a $32,000 claimer. Then they move the horse up into the overnight stake race over at the park, uh, which was the Teresa... Uh, memorial stakes and she won the race some 34 days ago so this is the American flat out run I wouldn't leave her off my ticket 7 to 2 is a fair price if you ask me the number three horse appears to be I wouldn't say overmatched in here Sterling Silver three wins from eight starts one second and one third the horse is by Cupid and again Al Patrano is doing all the training and you got my guy Tim McCarthy in the arms. Now the horse comes out of the premise stakes grade two ran second to a neck to the Steve Asmussen Wicked Halo who's running today over there with beautiful uh, is it Echo Zulu? Yeah I think she's running with Echo Zulu today but the number three at 12 to 1 offers some value underneath in this small field uh, in terms of tri-factors. 12 to 1 is a huge price on the number 3 horse. If you're playing exactas and tries, at worst case, you have to use the number 3 underneath. And again, I wouldn't be overly shocked if this horse come down the lane picking them up and laying them down. This is a very evenly matched race. The number 3, I like this horse. I love the value of 12 to 1. If you're playing uh, vertically, you have to use the number 3 for no other reason than value for sure. The number five, uh, number four horse, excuse me, uh, Chi Terra. I bet this horse last time and got my head handed to me. The number four is 12 to 1, seven wins from 19 starts by Daddy Long Legs, right? And a Carrara is doing the training. I bet this horse on August 19th at Colonial. Don't know what happened in the Seeking the Pearl Stakes. Ran seven by ninth. I couldn't have been more wrong. The horse was five to two on the morning line. Appears to be overmatched here. Chi Terra. Let's throw the number four clearly off the ticket. And here's the horse that I des I guess deserves a lot of attention. Four to five is a little tough for me. I think I'll pass on that. I can't uh, not put Kamari on the ticket to number five. But four to five, I mean, she's got a beautiful setup last time in the horrible Miss uh, uh, Stake race at Saratoga on July 27th when Frank Rockette, not, not Lady Rocket, but Frank Rockette, Mr. Break rushed up and Kamari just caught uh, Frank Rockette on the wire. If Frank Rockette would have broke clean that day, Kamari wouldn't have won this race. But that being said, Kamari don't need to apologize to no one. This is a nice mare, okay? She has eight wins from 15 starts. That's north of 50%, two seconds and two thirds for almost a million dollars. Buy Munnings on the back end by Cozine. This horse is screaming turf, if you ask me as well. This five-year-old is trained by Wesley Ward, of course, and you got the services of Joel Rosario, who, like I said, wore down Frank Rockette in the horrible mistakes. But four to five is very tough to take in here. I don't know if she's going to be able to catch our top pick, Lady Rocket. But I'll make Kamari our second pick because one thing for sure, you know when they turn for home, Joel Rosario will be doing what Joel Rosario do. What? Riding hard, getting in the money for sure. So in this year's... Um, uh, Gallant Bloom States, grade two over there at Belmont at Aqueduct. Small field of five, but talented. There's a couple ways you can go here. My top pick is going to be the number one horse, Lady Rocket. Uh, not Lady Rocket, Lady Rocket, right? Uh, we just think this horse should make the top with Irad and uh, maybe go gate to wire. And our second pick will be Kamari again. This horse is very, very tough. So it doesn't look like there's a bunch of money in here. But the value to me is the number three, Sterling Silver. Let's use this one as our third pick. So as always, our top pick, number one, Lady Rockette. So it's one, five, three. In that order, on Sunday, ninth race at beautiful Aqueduct or Belmont at Aqueduct. Very, very fine race and a very, very good group of, of, of girls. They're back in town for sure. Let's see if we can get Lady Rocket gate to wire with Mr. Ortiz, top to bottom for sure. Stay classy, y'all, and remember, have a bunch of fun when it comes to racing. That's my deal.